Now this is what I love to see, a nice smooth infinite scroll and there's no extra plugins being used. Now this is generally used for logos but you can really use this for anything else. So let me show you how to do this quickly and rest assured that the code that we're going to be adding extra to this is actually a very short little snippet. So in the Elementor editor we're going to start off we're going to add a new container to this and the settings for this container is we want to have it at a full width. We are going to have a min height to this. We're going to set it to VH. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it at 30, but you can set it to whatever you want based on the images that you're going to be using. So 30 VH looks pretty good when you're having a nice landscape 16 by nine type of picture. And that's what I'm gonna be using in this tutorial, but you know, play around with the settings till you're happy with yours. Then for justify content, I'm gonna make sure it's center. The gap, I'm gonna to set to zero. And then in advanced, I am going to make sure that the padding is zero. Now, the last thing we're going to do to this container is it's going to go to style and then I'm going to put the background to black. I don't like using black too much because it's one of the solid colors that you really have to know what you're doing with. But with this tutorial and these images, it just works really well. Okay, so now that we have our container all set, we're going to go and add the image carousel. So we're going to click on the plus sign and then we say the image carousel, which is this one over here. We're going to click and drag, put it in. So now the first thing we have to do to this is we're going to go and get our images. So do feel free to use whatever images you'd like to use. So for me, I'm just going to use these five images that I've selected. I'm going to insert there. You don't want to add too many images because all of these have to be loaded up into your page. So just be careful how many images you load. If you do load a lot, then just make sure that it's very, very small sizes. Now that I've inserted all the images I want, let's go and change all these other settings. So for the image resolution, I'm going to change this to a large. It's only because of my images and how vivid and accurate they are. Generally, you should use like a medium large. But again, it's based on the images that you're using. So I'm just going to go with large with mine. The slides to show, I'm going to say three. The slides to scroll, I'm going to say one. The image stretch, I'm going to leave it alone. The navigation, I want to take everything away. And then we're going to go into additional options. And over here, we want to lazy load this because you don't want to slow down the page on the first load. So this is going to be underneath the fold somewhere. And we're going to make sure that these are loaded after. So it's going to be lazy loaded. We're going to make sure that what's a place on. The pause and hover, I'm going to take off. The pause and interaction, I'm going to leave on. So if someone clicks it, then we want to do something over there. Um, the auto play speed, I'm going to take this to zero. Now this thing's going to go a bit crazy for a while. So I'm going to put it to zero. The infinite loop, I want yes, and the animation speed, I want it at about a 10,000. But do play around with your animation speeds as well because it all depends on what the size of your image is. For nice 16 by 9 photos, it actually works pretty well with a 10,000. The direction, it doesn't matter if it's going to be left or right. So like if you see up in the example, it doesn't matter. So for this over here in this tutorial, I am just going to keep this at a left. Then unadvanced. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the padding to generally zero, but on the top and bottom, I'm going to set it to 50. Just to give a little bit of space inside that container. Then one of the last things we have to do is under style, I'm going to go to spacing. I'm going to say this is custom. And then I'm going to put the spacing at about a 30. Again, depending on your pictures, just play around with that. But I like the way that the spacing is here for these type of 16 by 9 pictures. Now you can add a border radius to these images if you want. It's really cool if you do because then it has that film look. Like, you know, when it has all the different frames. So if I put a radius of, say, about 10, you can see on this one, it's got that old school film look going on, which is also pretty cool. Now that we have all the settings in place, you can see it's already behaving pretty well. But it is stopping and now we're going to remove that and we're just going to keep it as a nice infinite scroll in the description of this video there's going to be a small little css snippet you can just copy paste that into this widget and i'm going to show you now where to go so now that you've actually gone and copied that snippet from the description of this video all we have to do is we go to advanced we scroll down all the way to custom css and we just paste it there and now just give it a couple of seconds just for it to load up properly. But once it kicks in, this is going to start scrolling pretty smoothly. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So now if I go and click on publish and I go preview this, you can see that the one that we had made right over here that has that whole film look going on is now smoothly, infinitely scrolling across. And it's such a good look to have when you're designing your website. I hope you found this video quite useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Those two things really make a big impact on the small channel like mine. 
and it really does help me navigate on what content to make next for you guys. If you have any suggestions or comments, then just put a link down below and let me see what I can do for you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.